What I do is for an upper tooth, I will use Articane. You can see the one that I use there is 4% um, Articane with adrenaline or epinephrine um, for those in America. And I will do a buccal infiltration and I will do a palatal infiltration. And then I wait and I test. I will always do a palatal infiltration. A lot of people think that it's really mean, but what tends to happen is, let's say you have uh, an upper molar. So you've got an upper molar there, let's just go like that. And you've got the two roots on the buckle, and then you've got the palatal root there. Now, most people think that there's just solid bone in between here, and then they'll numb on this side, and then it'll just filter through and then numb the palatal root. But what happens if the sinus sits right in here? you're not gonna get the local anesthetic passing through the sinus air gap and then infiltrating the palatal root. So if you've got a patient where they are numb everywhere, except for when you prep the palatal, it's because their sinus is so far down that the anesthetic is not able to pass through. The other thing is if they've got really thick bone, it's gonna take a very long time for the anesthetic to pass through. And so by the time you start prepping, you don't wanna just prep this half of the tooth, you wanna prep all of the tooth at the same time. So you want everything to be numb as soon as you're ready to go.